Hey guys, Retrival here, and I'm going to make a beginner's guide on War Z, or the infestation survivor stories. So pretty much this is going to be a general guide for people that either haven't played or haven't played very much. And it's also going to end with a quick guide on how to loot Clearview and what most of the buildings contain in them. First things first, for you absolute beginners, if you press M to open the map, if you haven't already noticed, these three areas with red circles, they are safe zones. So if you go in there, you can't get hurt, there's no zombies, but there's also no loot. There's vendors in there that you can access your global inventory, which is practically just a bank in which you can store items and stuff, and they're kind of outside the game, and you can put them on dead characters or other characters in safe zones to spawn in with. Next thing is, I guess, health, food and health down in the bottom left. So they obviously deplete over time, there's also that red bar in the character is your health. When you kill a zombie, you gain some experience, and that goes towards a counter that you can use to buy new talent points on a skill tree, and the first one I suggest for, for new players is to get the one that makes it so that your food depletes slower, that way you only really have to search for liquid supplies as opposed to food and liquid, so it saves you weight and it also makes it easier to survive. Uh, when killing a zombie, as I'll show you now, if you hit him in the stomach or anywhere but the head, you're just going to be there for hours and they will never die. The idea of this game is you have to smash, you have to pretty much destroy the brains of the zombie or it won't die, so you have to aim for its head. Different melee weapons take different amounts of times. The weapon you start with will be a flashlight and it will take approximately five hits to kill. The one I've got will take three and you can get the really good melee weapons only take two shots to the head. Also you can press C to go in and out of third person mode. If you haven't realized crouch is, no, well, you can figure out the bindings but when you're looting an area, obviously to survive you need loot, you're going to want weapons, you're going to want food and water and you're going to want medical supplies if you get hurt. So there's going to be three main buildings you're going to want to see. The first one is going to be, well, one of the three is going to be the police station. Obviously that's where you're going to find your weapons. You can tell it by the police cars surrounding it. Obviously the big police logos and the buildings generally just look like that. Uh, low and wide with shallow slanted roofs. The next one will be a mart or a market. And they're pretty much just a little store. They'll Most of them generically have the two big windows and the big open doorway. So that's where you'll get your food and water supplies. If you're lucky, you can find body armor and bigger backpacks. And the third place is going to be the clinic or med center. That's going to be given away by the red and white roof trimming. And also the buildings generally just look kind of like this and they've got the red and white walls as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and loot. A few generic things. Where I am at the moment. This is Clearview, it's a, for those that don't know, it's a PvP central of the game, so if you press tab, unless you're in like a 5 person or less populated server, I probably wouldn't re recommend coming in here unless you're semi-experienced or have a weapon to defend yourself, because a lot of people come here to simply just kill people and steal their loot. Another thing is these three main buildings I've told you about, you'll find them in various, most developed kind of towns, you'll find them in Smallville, you'll find them in pretty sure Mountains Crest, you'll find them in Frosty Pines, a bunch of places. Okay, so in the clinic you can get antibiotics, bandages. Here in Clearview, this is actually one of the best looting spots I've found, with vaccines. And I'll explain what all this stuff does in just a second. So bandage. Manage DX. Okay, wow. So this is actually probably one of the best runs I've seen in a while. There's a ridiculous amount of stuff in here. that I didn't even realize you could spawn this many things at once. Okay. So what have I got at the moment? Okay, so bandage DXs, bandage, painkillers, antibiotics. So bandages heal the least amount at all. Pain painkillers uh, heal the second most. Antibiotics heal quite a bit. Bandage DXs do about 50% of your health and there's you can also get med kits which heal you for a lot and by a lot I mean 100% of your health. Next you can find uh, CO1 vaccines and that's if you get 
infected by a zombie. So you can't actually tell the difference between a regular zombie and an infected zombie, but if they hit you, you'll see down in the bottom left where your health is, it'll start coming up with a percentage, and that'll slowly increase as your blood toxi toxicity uh, rises towards 100. When it gets to 100, you'll start dying. And CO1 vaccines, they can only cure you for a little bit, so if you have a high toxi toxicity level, uh, you'll need quite a few of them. I think they heal about 15%, or if, well, if you find a CO4 like this one here, uh, that's something I can drop. I'll just drop these CO2s. If you get a CO4, that just cures you 100%, so you could be on 99 or 100% blood toxicity, toxicity, and that'll heal you straight up. So that's all good. Also, around med centers, you'll usually find ambulances, but you can also find them on roadblocks and just lying around about. And they'll usually have water supplies or uh, medical supplies on the back of them, and occasionally on the roof, but I'm not sure if they still spawn on the roof. Here in Clearview, you've got a few other, few other significant buildings, kind of auxiliary buildings I'll show you in a minute. They include the fire station, a bigger mart, post office, and... Uh, a restaurant. But first things first, we'll now just loot the marketplace. I'll show you the type of things you can find in there. So as you can see there's just food and water, plenty of water, but I've already got a little bit in my pack as you can see because I've already looted a little bit. Okay, the thing you're going to want to know about food and water is I highly recommend never using a bag of chips. I'll show you an example of why and that's because they use they give you a little bit of hunger back but not much and they take a significant amount of thirst away so if I eat some now just look down at my bar down the bottom left BAM and it's just really not worth it especially once you've got that perk that makes your hunger go down you never want to sacrifice thirst for hunger it's just really not worth it when you've got things down in your bottom action bars which are these four red bars in your menu you can just press that number and it'll eat or drink that thing straight up also if you have like bandages and stuff you can click to them but you either have to left click or just double click the number but I believe if you're pretty injured it just automatically does it itself okay so now we're at the police department and this is obviously this is where you can find uh, helmets, you can find body armor, you can find pistols and assault rifles you can also find weapon attachments so obviously you're going to check inside the police cars but as you can see there's nothing here at the moment in here a M9 helmet usually spawn like gets stuck up in that roof you can also find M9 helmets down here you can find pistols here you can find pistol attachments on that railing you can also find tack knives like the one I'm holding as you can see M9 helmets spawn there you also usually what you find spawning along this area here is Weapon attachments like pistol lasers and stuff like that. In here you can find assault rifles, you can find pistols, you can also find useless things like chem lights and flashlights. Although I think chem lights and that actually attract zombies now so they're not going to be as useless. But for now they're not that great. As you can see you can find tack knives in here. Oh crap, that scared me. So obviously if you run around with your flashlight that'll be a good thing to grab. Yeah, also when you've got your still only got your flashlight out, you're not really going to want to use it because if you uh, you're not going to want to attract more than one zombie at a time because it'll be really difficult. Okay, so that's the three main buildings in Clearview. So like I said, you'll be able to find them in pretty much most places, most of the main developed areas. Just yeah, and if you ever see police vehicles obviously look in them for pistols and stuff like that if you find ambulances look in them for medical supplies and water okay also if you come to Clearview check next to this place because it generally always has a little bit of food and some melee weapons and one last thing for the very beginners is as you can probably assume when you're walking around it as you can see in the top right corner it shows you how much noise and visibility you're making if you crouch past zombies you can get pretty damn close to them if you walk past you can get a decent distance but if you sprint they will see you from ages away and you will attract the zombies like no tomorrow so if you're around a lot of zombies don't use your sprint it's just a death trap I'll give a little example in a minute but right now I'll finish off the guide with the rest of the clear view 
So in this red house, if you look to the right, you'll usually find some uh, liquid sustenance, or you'll find a little bit of food. In here, you'll almost always find a melee weapon, or you might even find a shotgun or a mask. You can also find backpacks in here, but this is a this building's pretty good for food and melee weapons and stuff. There's another one. You can find weapons. Occasionally, you can actually find snipers and assault rifles in here, but obviously they're a lot rarer. In all these random cars, you can usually find some water and stuff. Okay, here's the second red house. It spawns pretty pretty similar loot to that one, but not quite as good. Probably because it's further away from the police station. I'm not really sure. I tend to not find as many weapons in here, but as in rifles or shotguns. But you can find a Mossberg in here, or as you can see, some food, water, and melees. From this building, a good place to go. Especially if you don't have a weapon or you're just getting chased by zombies and can't be bothered dealing with them, just jump up here and you can just jump over the fence and run that way and they'll stop chasing you or just sit on top and they won't be able to get you. I'll quickly show a little, sort of like a little glitchy thing that can save you time if you're like running this way, you can't be bothered trying to jump over it or you're getting chased by zombies or something. I'm not sure if they can do it, but you can literally just walk straight through this fence. You can't actually walk back and it's only in that tiny little spot, but it's possible. Okay, right here, you can in front of this tractor, you can find assault rifles or you can find shotguns. And as you can see, we've just found ourselves an M4 Semi, which is a pretty good find, if I do say so myself. So now we've got our first gun. We'll keep going, so obviously that's the spawn right there. There's another red house just there. Also, uh, one thing to note as a beginner, if you swing your, if you ever find zombies on the lying on the floor, there's a good chance they're just a sleeper, and you can wake them up by either walking too close, or if you swing your weapon, they'll actually wake up. So in here you can just find food and occasionally a crossbow or shotgun. That building just in front of me is pretty much the same as the other red buildings, they all just spawn food and water and melee weapons. This one I'm not too sure if it spawn shotguns and that either, but I know at least maybe one or two of those spawn sniper rifles and assault rifles as well. And just behind here, obviously you can find weapon spawn as we've just found another one. Obviously the server hasn't been touched in a while for some reason. Or it's just had lucky spawn because I'm finding a fair bit of stuff. Okay, as we run along here, That building next to me, that's also just weapon, just basic melee weapons, food and water in here. Uh, in these two buildings, just food, that's a bit glitchy. Just food, water, and shotguns again. I'm not too sure if this building spawns anything better, but all of, I've have a feeling that one can spawn better things than a shotgun, but I've only ever found shotguns in it. In this thing, you'll find either melee weapons or you'll find food and water, like you can see there. And now we're coming across to the farm, and first place you're going to want to check is next to these hay bales. You can usually find either a pistol, like an anaconda, or you can find, as we've seen here, a double barrel shotgun. You can also find Kruger 22s and Moser Nagants and stuff like that. Here you can find food, water, and rifles and stuff. As you just found, a shotgun, Mossberg, and some melee weapons. You can also find AKMs here, which is a semi-automatic AK. You can also find weapons here on this one. Oh my goodness, another one. So we've got a Kruger 22 here. You can find AKMs on there as well. And I believe I've actually found an M4 there once, but I might be tripping balls. In this building, uh, you can also find crossbows in that shack and, uh, and on these bales in here you can generally find oh my god another weapon you can generally find either like two crossbows or two shotguns or a shotgun and a Kruger 22 like that as we come along we keep going this building you can't go in and it just makes creepy noises if you stand too close and so I don't really like going near it around there Around the back you can find, I think, pistols and stuff, occasionally, but it's mainly just food and water. In this building, again, this is just one of the basic 
lucky if you get a shotgun, usually just melee weapons and food and water. As we come around to this building, this is pretty much my favourite building for picking up melee weapons in Clearview because just for me particularly I've found a lot of katanas and cleavers and stuff and they're the best melee weapons in the game. As we see here, a bat, a metal bat and another bat, so it's got a fair few melees. But I've just had a lot of luck finding the rare two-shot melee weapons, so that's why I like it. In that building you can actually find a shotgun, you can find food and water, and I believe you can also find like M4 rifles if you're lucky. Okay, so now we're getting back to the auxiliary buildings of Clearview. So you've got a restaurant, you can find these in in places like Clearview, Frosty Pines, some of the bigger areas and they will be chock a block full of food and water. As you can see, plenty of stuff to keep you going for ages. And they will pretty much always be stocked up like this. Maybe not to this extent, but generally pretty damn high. The next one will be a post office and you can find them in plenty of places. And post offices are pretty much like your best friend, especially once you've got that perk I've already been talking about where you only really have to focus on drinking because post offices are literally good for nothing but water, soft drink and time capsules. So we'll have a quick look in here, yep, soda, <laughs> what do you know, water, two time capsules and yeah you can find little things like chocolate bars which will obviously keep you going. So. The third and final auxiliary building in Clearview is going to be here, which is the Big Mart. So obviously you got a your regular mart that you find in lots of places down back where we were before, and this is a Big Mart. So it essentially is the same thing, it's just bigger and generally has more things in it. In these marts, as you can find here, you can find rifle attachments, and for all of you people that don't know, you can press F6 while, while you're rifles out to open up this fancy little menu where you can pick up attachments and things like that. Uh, also one last trick with the with the flashlight you can press F to switch it on and off so if you are, do have to use a flashlight as a melee make sure you turn it off because you can see that thing from a mile away. people that don't know with food you obviously have small things like granola bars and chocolate bars they only heal you a little bit you also have bigger things like cans of meat tinned uh, tuna and tin cans of soup and stuff they heal you for a lot they also a lot of them heal like tins of soup and stuff as well as giving you hunger they also give you thirst back and they also actually heal you for a little bit so they're really good also always check around this big ATV because it Unlike these boonie hats, it can actually spawn a lot of ammo, like pistol ammo and assault rifles and stuff occasionally. Or pistols. Mainly pistols. But, yeah, you can lock in. And obviously, just check this police car, but I haven't actually found anything in it for a long time. Uh, last thing for Clearview is this. This is a garage. Obviously, most people know it if they've PvP'd in here. You don't really find much in here but food and water, which will usually be on that bench as we can see. You can also find, I think I've found a backpack in here before, but for people that are PvPing or just want to know a little trick, you can jump up on these vines and climb up on the fence. So it's like a good viewpoint of places. And you can crouch around the corner, stuff like that. Also, the very last thing is this garage, you can actually get on top of it. So that's handy if you need to run away from the zombies. Or if you're in PvP, obviously you can use it as a vantage point or that, whatever the hell you want to do with it. And more often than not, you'll find this thing full of barricades and stuff because people like to camp up here. Okay, well, I think that pretty much does it for Clearview. Also, if you are in here, keep a lookout. That place is known as Sniper Hill because people that are PvPing just go up there with snipers and they just pick you off because it is easy as pie to see you, especially if you're up on this roof. So just be careful. And so you beginners, make sure you remember clinic, police station, and the mart. Okay, hope this video has helped. If it has, please give it a like or leave a comment and give me some info on what you guys want to see next. Okay.
This is Retro Whore. Ciao.